Hey what's up bros, my name is Aaron and today I want to take the time to respond to some of your comments some of which are actually questions that I find very interesting like this question about audio latency while gaming uh, I cannot wait to respond to that question but first let's get to uh, some of these comments first uh, Lensley Dracul commenting on my video about how to activate aptx on your MacBook Pro or iMac he said, I cannot get ABTX to work for my Sony WH-1000X M3 headphones. The terminal says ABTX is on. However, the connection to the headphones say active codec SBC, even after disconnecting and reconnecting my headphones multiple times. Why isn't it working? Okay, so lastly, my understanding is that for the Sony 1000X M3, if you need to use ABTX on the MacBook Pro or iMac, you have to go into the Sony Headphones Connect app on your phone and activate priority on sound quality okay so there are two options you can either toggle between priority on stable connection which means that the headphones will be stuck in sbc codec or select priority on sound quality so that the headphones can default into using the higher quality uh, aptx or aac codec what you also need to do is to set the eq settings to default because apparently by EQing the headphones, the headphones will default in, back into SBC. So yeah, uh, strangely enough, that's how the 1000XM3 works. Next question on my why everyone should buy Samsung Galaxy Buds video. Mike Vita asks, didn't you do a video stating why you weren't buying them? You've changed your mind? Well, Mike, I didn't quite change my mind. Uh, but you, in order for you to understand why I made this video, watch the video, okay? Because, yeah. <laughs> Next comment. John Fabio on my JBL Extreme 2 vs Extreme 1 uh, base test and unboxing video comments. Uh, two Charge 3s provide good stereo, less weight, less cost. Extreme 2 is merely a chinky bottle opener. Nothing but a Chinese bottle opener. Okay, now, first of all, John, I agree with what you're saying. Two Charge 3s paired in stereo, placed side by side, maybe a little further apart, will give you a more open, spacious soundstage, and in a way, it is more enjoyable to listen to than one JBL Extreme 2. But you gotta help me out here, bro. What's a Chinese bottle opener? I, I don't know. I, I don't know what you're talking about. So you gotta help me out here, okay? Next comment. Samir, you pretty, you pretty. <laughs> Sorry, I must be butchering your name. Forgive me, but uh, you commented on my why Bluetooth earbuds lag when gaming or watching videos. Video when I play PUBG, the sound gets delayed. Like when I shoot, the sound comes after a little delay. Any fixes? First of all, we need to understand what is going on here before I answer your question. Whether you experience audio to video syncing issues really depends on the app and I only learned this in the last couple of months. When I'm watching YouTube videos on my Android phone, for example, the Oppo R17 Pro using a pair of TrueWise earbuds, even if my earbuds don't support APTX, only supports AAC for example, I may not experience any sort of audio to video syncing lag because the, the YouTube app on Android apparently has some sort of feature that automatically compensates for audio video lag by holding back the video so that it lines up perfectly with the audio that you're getting through the earbuds. However, that is simply impossible to do for games because whatever happens on screen also depends on input from your fingers. So if I press shoot instantly, you know, the guy on the screen has to shoot, right? I play PUBG too, I use the Sennheiser Momentum True Eyes Earbuds and even that with its APTX support it still has a little tiny bit of lag It's only a tiny bit of lag, so it doesn't really affect gameplay that much. So that's why it doesn't really bother me. But imagine if the game had to hold back the action on the screen to compensate for the audio, right? To make it line up with the audio. 
what will happen is if I press shoot, it will take a brief moment before the person on screen actually shoots. And that seriously affects gameplay. If you ask me, I would rather have a little bit of audio lag than the entire gameplay lagging like trying to game on a 28k bps internet speed. Right, so that's that's pretty effed up. But if you're getting bad audio lag, and by bad I mean really bad, like one second or half a second of lag, then I propose getting a pair of True Eyes earbuds that support aptX or at least AAC codec. Because most phones support these two codecs, all iPhones support AAC, and I suppose all the latest Android phones now support aptX. Either way, you gotta spend at least a little bit of money to minimize the audio video lag. Right now, it's impossible to get rid of that audio video lag when you're gaming, unless there are phones that are released this year that support aptX low latency. Then you can pair it with the Sennheiser MTWs, which supports aptX low latency, thus allowing you to bring the audio video lag to within 40 milliseconds, which is like barely any lag at all. So bros, that's all I have for now. Thank you guys for watching. And if you have any more questions or comments that you would like me to react to in another video, feel free to hit me up in the comments section below. Let's sort of keep this conversation between us going, eh? Thank you guys for watching. And if you like this video, please punch that like button and share this video with your friends. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And remember to ring the bell to join my notification squad because I upload videos every single week and YouTube will only notify you if you ring this bell, okay? So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you again in the next video. Peace out.